We drove down to Washington, D.C. on the Friday night before Easter to get tickets for the White House Easter egg roll on the Monday after Easter. Dylan and I left this nice hotel room with our sleeping bags to sleep in the White House lips. It's hard to get a sense of the thousands of people in tents that were around the ellipse, but thousands more left about 4 in the morning when the tickets ran out. They gave away about 15,000. We put down our sleeping bags just after midnight. At 3 they woke us up. At 4 they handed out badges, which entitled each person to five tickets. At 8 a.m., the line started moving around the ellipse, and we collected our tickets for Monday. That's the other side of the line. Here's the New York Avenue Presbyterian Church, which we attended on Easter. It was near our hotel, but I was pleased to learn that Abraham Lincoln was a member of the congregation. They were throwing out all the pews when they renovated the church, but one member did a personal sit-in to save Lincoln's pew, pictured here. Downstairs they have an early edition of the Emancipation Proclamation, which Lincoln wrote out on both sides of the paper, so they have to copy it to show the entire document. Here's the stage on Monday at the Easter Egg Roll. The White House was letting in groups with time tickets from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We were in group number 22 at 1.30. The entrance to the White House, Egg Roll. She's very good about hats. Faith wore her hat the entire stay at the White House. Here we meet the new White House press secretary. Here's the site of the official egg roll right in front of the White House. From here we could listen to the Navy band playing on the White House porch. Here's Faith preparing for the egg roll. Faith managed to keep her egg on the ground. Another girl lofted hers over the crowd. At the finish, the rewards. Here's a cute bunny. I like the one on the right, too. There were some famous people like Sasha Cohen and Buzz Aldrin reading stories. Hiding the eggs for the egg hunt. Somewhere there is a golden egg. Faith defeated all the boys to gain the golden egg. And won the shirt. Here's the Easter egg coloring section. Roxy and Faith colored many eggs. Pinky held the swag. Who says there's no free lunch at the White House? Fortunately, Buck Howdy was available that day. Faith was weirded out by her old cartoon idols. Sometimes you would see the sharpshooters walking on the roof of the White House. Some of the bushes, bushes. The rabbits were everywhere. This is about the middle of the White House ground looking toward the Washington Monument. A look at the puppet show. I'm not entirely certain that this woman worked for the White House. On the way out, you got more swag, and the little children got wooden eggs signed by the president and his wife, Laura. It 
It really was a fun adventure. Faith is seven, so she'll be too old to go next year.